And then we're waiting for this one, and there we go. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Friday's live stream channel. Good Joel. evening. Good evening. Friday the 31st, last day of July. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Friday the 31st of July, 2021. Good evening and welcome. I'm just going to move my maracas out of the way, yeah. just for now, as we've been um, sorting everything out. We hope everybody's going to log in the chat room tonight. Um, and I can see that Sue's online and Sean, Sean hello. Sean, hi Sue. <laughs> Good to be here, good to be back. Here we go. We like this candle for peace, mm -hmm. love, compassion, joy, prosperity, abundance, harm, harmony, everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> well done, well done, well done. Well done. Well done. Um, yeah. <laughs> And we're full of giggles as well, aren't we? We are. We're we we are. full of giggles. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to start this a bit differently because I found a translation of the um, the Debbie Prayer, the hymn to the Divine Mother. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, the Divine Mother is everywhere. She is in everything. She is the divine essence that lives within all beings. Her domain is the field of life. For she gives to all beings the sustenance that is needed for life. Her beauty lies in the natural world and spans the universes in all their splendour. She has been called by many names, for all traditions recognise her. Into each consciousness the knowledge is given of the sacredness of life. This sacredness is the Mother. She is the holy generator of the physical world, joined to the heart and soul of every living thing. All of the earth is one with her. All beings of the earth owe their life to her, for she is the mother of all, the one who bestows all gifts of life. Her gifts come to the deserving and to the non-deserving alike, for the sun does not choose upon whom to shine. She is the source of divine blessing, the part of the oneness that bestows the graces that fill life. We have not seen her because her being is cloaked in silence. She emerges now as part of the oneness where she has always resided, blessing all, giving to all. All who bow before her are sustained by the life within them. All who honour her are sustained by life's gifts both within themselves and beyond. The purpose of existence is to join with life that lives in all dimensions mm -hmm. and all realms of being. Mm -hmm. It is the mother that creates this evolving, this unfolding journey, for she is the fabric of time itself, the means by which all things grow. She is the template for life that exists within her. She is the substance and form of all that shall ever come to be. May all be blessed by the blessings of the Divine Oneness. That is wonderful. It's that is lovely. Gorgeous. Yeah, as Brother Sean says, beautiful prayer, Lord. It is. Which, which yeah. it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> And I think I think we're gonna have to go and see this. Are you gonna have a wait let me listen? I think I'll just I'll just be joining I want to hear your beautiful voice. Because uh, uh, well, yeah. we all agree she's got a wonderful <laughs> voice and I know when to stay quiet, I know when it's best to. I might join in the the chorus, we'll see oh, how yes. how we go. Yes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Para Shakti Sundari Namastasye, 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 Namo Namaha Ma Amba Lalita Devi Mahamaye Mangali Namastasye, 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 Namo Namaha. 
circle of life. It'll be interesting to see it if it's in here. Yes, it will be, yeah. From the day we arrive on the planet and blinking step into the sun, there's more to be seen than can ever be seen, more to do than can ever be done. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. This gives us some depth of the wonder and mystery of life, of which obviously the Divine Mother is as well. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. We are born on this planet into the light that is Gaia, Terra, another name for it, all knowing in our heart that there is more to be seen than can ever be seen, more to do than can, can ever be done. However, as we know and have experienced, we have all been wheeled, misdirected, misinformed by those who preferred us to be wallowing in despair, fear, depression, anxiety, hopelessness. Well, that was then. Yeah. But this is now. Now. now right? Now. Okay. And the now is us waking up to the realisation that we are more than we have perceived ourselves to be mm -hmm. and that there is more to be seen than can ever be seen and mm -hmm. more to do oh, yeah. than ever can you know, be done. I.e. when we were looking only through our third dimensional eyes and the linear thinking that accompanies third dimensional mm -hmm. living. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, to me, um, the theme of the Lion King film is the, the celebration of life and love, honouring life in all its forms. And that brings us to the question of how do we honour ourselves as a form of life, mm. as a form of love? <coughs> do we honour the depth of wisdom gained in our own lives? from our own experiences. We tend to think of time as linear, you know, the past, present, future. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because that's the three day way we've been taught. It is. However, what if there was no time, but only the present, i.e. our gift of life? The indigenous people of Earth have always known this and yeah. passed down their knowledge from generation to generation, and there's a clue here, right? <laughs> yeah. They have always honoured their ancestors. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. We in the Western world have probably thought, how nice, how loving, how <laughs> great. But the indigenous were the most intelligent, not us, mm -hmm. because they knew that they were and are their ancestors, mm -hmm. yes? They knew they were part of the circle of life, that they could not die, i.e. be extinguished from life. Mm -hmm. They knew they would only change form. Have you fully realised this yet? I have now. Mm. <laughs> Just let that sink in, yeah? <laughs> Many of you who have developed your mediumship and healing skills, i.e. have channeled messages from loved ones in spirit or angels or other higher dimensional beings, or who, or, or who have channeled healing energy, would perhaps have become aware of what is termed your spirit guides, your healing guides, and angels, galactic healers perhaps, and guides. Well, what I have always pondered and even thought possible mm -hmm. was that our guides, in whatever form they have taken, have actually been, if we think in terms of, you know, in, in linear 3D terms, and are, if we think in 5D terms, <laughs> yeah. us, mm -hmm. yeah? So I'll let that thought sink in for a moment or two and feel into your inner knowing about this. Mm -hmm. Because at some level, I reckon a lot of us mm -hmm. have felt that, yeah? Mm -hmm. and, and this feeling mm -hmm. into, our, into our inner knowing 
is our way of removing ourselves from the 3D linear thinking trap, because mm -hmm. that's what it is, right? We'll do this by activating our 3D termed junk DNA, right? Yeah. Which is actually quantum or multidimensional and so cannot be actually defined in 3D terms, right? Mm -hmm. And here is the most amazing part. Our so-called junk DNA is our link to our Akashic records. Mm -hmm. And I thought, wow. Mm -hmm. Wow, how interesting, mm -hmm. yes? Mm -hmm. Now, if you're an old soul, which many of us are, with hundreds plus lives on and off planet, this planet, I'm not mm -hmm. on, yeah. well, maybe on others, think of how much wisdom we have accumulated over those lifetimes. All the occasions we have been shamans, <laughs> yes, <laughs> wise ones, medicine men and women, Mm -hmm. healers, philosophers, alchemists, musicians, writers, poets, drummers, dancers, artists, you know, the, le the list is endless, mm -hmm. yeah? Yeah. And don't forget the wisdom uh, you gained, oh, I'm not sure about that actually, because one, at one point I just wondered actually if we we actually uh, experience existence as kind of rocks or plants or in trees and that. But now I've, um, I'm kind of questioning, mm -hmm. maybe we didn't, maybe we just had the ability to tune into the rocks mm -hmm. and the plants and communicate mm -hmm. um, in, in that way um, because of our innate skills. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, and that's, that's something I'm pondering on, yeah? Mm -hmm. Anyway, the, the, uh, the wisdom, knowledge, talents and skills of your unique soul are within you. All you have to do is feel into them. Use your divine abilities of clairvoyance, which is clear, clear seeing, clear audience, clear knowing, clear sentience, which is clear sensing, clear cop clear cognizance, which is clear knowing, clear gustience, which is clear tasting. All these are ready to come online once you realise the significance of who you really are, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's in all of us. It's not yeah. some special people to be able to do that. It's in everybody, yeah? Yeah, yeah it certainly is. Yeah. So get out of 3D linear thinking and get yeah. into the wonder of 5D. The wonder right? of you. The wonder, uh, yes, in, actually, yes. <laughs> get into the wonder of you. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and tap into your own wisdom. Don't expect to do the same as other people. <laughs> Remember, you are un a unique spark of God mm -hmm. with unique abilities. So honour your abilities for these are the gifts of God. Mm -hmm. Right? Be your higher selves, be the wisdom of all your lives, wherever they have been. Our lives have been or about um, gaining wisdom through experience, mm -hmm. right? So it's there. Mm -hmm. You are it, mm -hmm. right? Be at peace with that. Be in wonder at that. Mm -hmm. Settle in there's the, the one <laughs> Yes, there's the one yeah. <laughs> Settle in the knowing of your truth and that truth is the, the creator within you, never alone, all part of the um, creator of, of life, the creator of love, the creator of wisdom, the creator of wonder, the creator of joy, the creator of eternal life. That's lovely. the end of that. Yes, <laughs> that was lovely. Wasn't, that, was, uh, that was food for, th for thought, wasn't Definitely it? Definitely food for thought, yeah. yes. Uh, yeah. Get me thinking there, mm. right? Right, Wednesday the 29th of July. When was that way? Wednesday. Was it, what uh, day are we on now? Friday. Friday. So that was Tuesday. Uh, so, so, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, what I wrote was all behaviours are learned, and all we have to do to change is to let go of an old behaviour that no longer serves you, and create a new behaviour that serves you well. A behaviour that brings you joy and happiness. Mm -hmm. An attitude of gratitude 
is a great behaviour to be had, to start the day and to end the day. So when you jump out of bed in the morning, or roll out of bed, or do whatever when you get up out of bed, <laughs> start the day with gratitude. Mm -hmm. Breathe in the art of gratitude into your being, and breathe out love and thanks for what we receive on a daily basis. Remember what we reap is what we sow. Quit mourning about this and that, the weather, etc., and see the bigger picture. Because when you say it's raining, the first thing what you, you the first person you probably meet is, oh, isn't the weather awful? Mm. It's not awful. You know? Cycles, yes, rhythms. It's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> so as I was driving to work, I noticed how beautiful and magnificent the colours of the trees were, the shapes, mm. the grass. The shapes of the trees and how much they must be loving the rain. They don't think it's awful. No. They no. embrace it. They, yes, they embrace uh -huh. all the elements, don't yes, they? Yes, yeah. With the go with the flow of the mm -hmm. elements. Mm -hmm. And how much they must be loving and drinking and bathing in that rain. Mm -hmm. They must have been dancing inside. Yeah, 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 come on, bring it on. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Because <laughs> rain is the food for life. Mm -hmm. And it definitely is food for life. The nectar, the honey, the sweetness. For without rain, we would surely perish. We would surely wither and die. Mm -hmm. Which yeah. we would. Because we'd have no water. Because <laughs> we'd have no water and we made up of how much water. So what I try to, so what I try to do now is um, when I meet somebody and they're on about the weather, I say, oh, just notice the colours. Just notice the colours of the mm -hmm. grass when it's rained. Mm -hmm. Notice the, how the flowers feel, the upright. The, the alert, the beam, in, in fact, mm -hmm. aren't they? Mm -hmm. Because they enjoying, mm -hmm. they enjoying the water, the life. Mm -hmm. um, and as a parent, it's funny as well because as soon as it's rain or oh, the weather's bad, can't go out and play because you'll get wet. And mm -hmm. and it just, I just, I just, you know, when you just all of a sudden have like that, you may you stop in your tracks and you just think. Why have we been conditioned in mm -hmm. such a way that mm -hmm. you'll get your death of cold if you go out in that rain? Mm -hmm. Get wrapped up and allow them to play out in that yeah, rain because uh -huh. it's yeah. embrace it. That's right. You just enjoy it. Just be waterproof. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So I've had food for thought this week about the weather. I mean, it's wonderful when the sun's out. Don't go wrong. Mm -hmm. Cause I absolutely mm -hmm. love the sunshine. Mm -hmm. But if we can just look at things in a different look at the bigger picture mm -hmm. of why we have the rain i suppose the wind as well because mm -hmm. it blows the seeds about doesn't it mm -hmm. you know just get away from the negative thinking oh god i feel miserable there's mm -hmm. no light in my life mm -hmm. you know and just think well well yeah if this is meant to happen we're meant to go through these cycles and rhythms would embrace them with a different attitude, mm -hmm. a different attitude of joy, and you feel more joy in your heart. And yeah, yeah. Love in your heart. I've also admit when we had the sun back, um, uh, yesterday, yesterday for, um, and I looked at the sky and it was that gorgeous blue again. I said, "Oh, That's wonderful! Yeah. Thank you. I've missed seeing you." So. Yeah, it is lovely when uh, it's out. The yes, warmth of uh, the sun. Yeah. But, you, but yeah, I've just uh -huh. had a lot of food for thought this week over it when I've uh -huh. been driving to work. Uh -huh. um, and when you were talking about colours, actually that's what I was talking about, focusing on the, this morning when I was driving to the um, <laughs> exercise <laughs> class. I was thinking, wow, look at the gorgeous pinks and the greens yeah. and look at the flowers in the roundabout and that. Yeah, I think they are. Beautiful, <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yeah, they could be a distraction as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, yes, but I was being, you know, Focus as well. Well, I wasn't the other day. I switched <laughs> off. I think I went in a little bit of a meditation and then suddenly realised I was driving. <laughs> so, so yeah, that's where I was. Um, I was receiving this week, of just to taking the beauty what surrounds us, and also taking the beauty of others. Mm -hmm. You know, and if you see somebody who's wearing lovely colours and you you're, mm -hmm. you're admiring it inside. Be bold enough to say, "Bye, you look really look that colour does not mm -hmm. suit you," and mm -hmm. you know, light up someone's life with mm -hmm. a, a nice, mm -hmm. a nice comment. Yeah, yeah. Rather than think, "Oh, I don't open my mouth and I, that I can't be doing that." Yeah, yeah. Do it. Oh, just joy. think, just think as well. I mean, rain when we get it, it tends to kind of wash away. Yeah. Stuff that needs clearing away, and it's kind of similar to when we, you know, 
that when we sort of shed tears, mm -hmm. we're actually washing away whatever sadness mm -hmm. that's within us. So we can compare that, you know, as a, you know, it's like it is a cleansing, mm -hmm. just as we do our own cleansing with with, with tears and what have you. Um, the rain does similar a similar job, okay, as so well as kind of you know fill up the reservoirs and yeah. water the plants and the soil and everything. Yeah. So it's it's all important. It is it's all part of the plan. It is, isn't it? So uh, taking the beauty, taking mm -hmm. the joy, mm -hmm. taking the love of the yeah. universe. Yeah. Keep away from anything negative. Mm -hmm. What will um, zap your energies? Keep yourself positive and uplifted. Yes. Because. We go. I know that we we are going through chaotic times, but we have to keep that inner light glowing. Mm -hmm. Be the glow worms. Most <laughs> most important. <laughs> yes. And glow from the inside out. <laughs> keep that light alive. Yes. So come on, let it shine. Yes. Let it shine. <laughs> and I can't sing. Take that. I can't sing like that. So come on, let Wait, it shine. This little oh. light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine Let it shine <laughs> Let it shine Let it shine Let it shine Let it shine This little heart of mine I'm gonna let it shine this little heart of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little heart of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine. <laughs> Ooh, I like let it shine. It shines so bright. Ah, <laughs> oh dear, right. Um, have you this one? Yes. Yeah. Ooh, right. <laughs> so, um, there's a calm surrender to the rush of day when the heat of a rolling wind can be turned away. An enchanted moment and it sees me through. It's enough for this restless warrior just to be with you. And can you feel the love tonight? It is where we are. It's enough for this wide-eyed wanderer that we've got this far. And can you feel the love tonight? How oh, it's late to rest. It's enough to make kings and vagabonds believe the very best. There's a time for everyone if they only learn that the twisting kaleidoscope moves us all in turn there's a rhyme and reason to the wild outdoors where the heart of this star-crossed voyager beats in time with yours and can you feel the love tonight it is where we are it's enough for this wide-eyed wanderer that we got this far and can you feel the love tonight it is late to rest it's enough to make kings and vagabonds believe the very best it's enough to make kings and vagabonds believe the very best. So I think we all need to believe the very best of yes. ourselves yeah. in our world. Yes. Yes. Yeah, to believe. And yeah. And and as it says, there's a rhyme and a reason. 
-hmm. for everything, isn't it? A rhyme so, and a reason. A rhyme and a reason. For every We've season. just got to, <laughs> for every season, indeed, yes. <laughs> yes, and it's it's down to us to, you know, to go into our intuition, into mm -hmm. our inner self. Yeah. To, to go into the rhyme and reason for why things happen to us, mm -hmm. why things are happening around the world and Cycles, the earth rhythms. and you know, everything. Yeah. And really sort of get into our intuition. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> ka ching. Ka ching. <laughs> ka ching time. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I get me drum? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's time for drumming. Mm -hmm. yes. I think I'll take my glasses off so I can't see me drum. Yes. <laughs> You're not supposed to agree with us. Oh. <laughs> well, um, whatever makes you comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Being cold most of the day, and I'm getting sweat on now. Oh, right, really okay. well, this is certainly warm. It's certainly warm as well. Oh, certainly warm as up, yeah. It's <laughs> been cold up north. Mm. Well, cool, it's not cold, it's cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, yes. cool as a cucumber. <laughs> cool. <laughs>
too many hands. <laughs> wow. Oh, can you, could you just feel the entrainment between the drum and the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> wow. It was lovely, wasn't it? <laughs> wow, yeah. <laughs> yeah, was a wow, was it? <laughs> Tell you folks, you have to get a drum. You have to experience oh, yes. this. It's a lovely, lovely, lovely it is. connection. It is a lovely connection. <laughs> certainly is. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Whoop. <laughs> You've <done> enough. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Right, what's next? Right, um, <laughs> how are we doing for time? Oh yes, right, um, we could do this one, I'd like to see, yes. <laughs> without respect. We'd like to see without, yes. <laughs> I'd like, like to see the whole world live in her best harmony with love and peace. And joy for all in one prosperity. I'd like to see the world for once all standing hand in hand and hear each echo loud and clear for peace in every land. I'd like to see there's food for all and safe and pure and free. And all our insect friends survive, especially the bees. I'd like to smell the air around, so sweet and pure and clean. So all can dance in nature's realms and send out their love beam. I'd like all to live in a home, fueled by free energy. That also fuels our transport needs in perfect harmony. I'd like for everyone to see their aspects of the one. That light and love and beam so bright at the eternal sun. I like to see the whole world smile because we're finally free to be the love we truly are in heaven's company. Because we're the real thing. <laughs> we are. We're the real. We're the real deal. We're the real deal. We're the real deal. We're the love, right? <laughs> we are. We're beaming out our love. Oh, well, those, those words were mine, those lyrics were mine. But the original song, um, um, what was it? Uh, I can't remember what it was called now. Um, I think it was like to, was it like to? Feed the whole world. Like to, yeah, right, I like to teach the world to sing. That's it, I like to teach the world to sing. Like to to the world to sing. sing. <laughs> and it was sung by the, the, the New Seekers, right? And it was written by B. Yeah. Backer, B. Davis, R. Oh, Cook and R. Yeah, but we put our, our, well, you put yeah, our spin on us, we the we, Love Seekers. We the, <laughs> we the, we the, we the Love Seekers, right? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we must do oh, this one. Oh, right. We must do this. Yes. We must. So you can get up and dance to this and clap and whatever you want to do, or even if it's even drunk if you want to do. Are you trying to make? Well, anybody, anybody, anybody who's, you know, there. I thought you were giving us all no, to do no, it. No, no, no. <laughs> well, you can do it if you want, kind of thing, right? So, right. Hi. <laughs> Danced in the morning when the world was begun. I danced in the moon and the stars and the sun. I came down from heaven and I danced on earth. I felt the heaven I had my birth. Dance, dance, wherever you may be. I am the Lord of the dance city and I'll lead you all wherever you may be. Why 
life, spending living life in a complete day. <laughs> dancers, wherever you may be, I am the Lord of the dances. He and I lead you all, wherever you may be, and I lead you all in the dances. He, I danced in reverence to the life of all. But many people misunderstood my call. They misquoted me and told many a lie. The truth will always out as every day goes by. Dance, dance, wherever you may be. I am the Lord of the dance, said he. And I lead you all wherever you may be. And I lead you all in the dance, said he. My teachings explain how to dance through life. I was always supported by my truly loving wife. I shared my life with friends and family. I was dear to them and they were dear to me. Dance, dance, wherever you may be. I am the Lord of the dance, said he. And I lead you all wherever you may be. And I lead you all in the dance. I taught that we all are made of love and can shine our light like the stars above. Stand, stand, wherever you may be. I am the Lord of the dance, said he, and I lead you all wherever you may be, and I lead you all in the dance, said he. If we all raise our lights, we can leap up high. We are the life that will never ever die. Love lives in you as it lives in me. In the dance of life, you are Lord or Lady. <laughs> dance, dance, wherever you may be. I am the Lord of the dance, said he. And I lead you all wherever you may be. And I lead you all in the dance, said he. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it just makes us laugh so oh, much. That's my uplifted version of the Lord of the Dance, right? <laughs> oh, it's uplifted. Us. Uplifted. Yes, lifted. Oh, it's uplifted everybody else. <laughs> I'm sure it has. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Lovely jubbly. Right. How's about some cards we've got? Oh, yes. We've got some cards and we've got quite a few, so let's put them out in front of us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yours, please. Right. Laura's brought them tonight, yes. and I know where I'm guided to. I know right. I was guided to earlier. Uh -huh. I would like to do them ones first. So, would you like right. to do it, please? Yeah. Or okay, I'll do the shuffle, please. Yep. Yeah. You do the shuffle of these the cards. These are the. Uh, I. <laughs> <laughs> these are the um, the Power Animal Oracle cards from Stephen Farmer. Um, Absolutely gorgeous cards and quite interesting. Okay. It's for the group, it's for, for all. The group, for the group, group. yes. So. See how we're doing today. I'm so excited I'm so and I just excited. can't hide it. I'm about to lose control and I think I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm loving life. Yeah. Well, that's what we should, should all be doing. Loving life. I get high on life. Yes, exactly. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. yes. Don't need alcohol. Just breathe in the high. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Because we've all we've all got that joy within us, so we've just got to bring mm -hmm. it out. Yeah, basically. the playfulness within. Yes. Mm. And oh, 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 it's two oh, just falling two, out. Two, got two. Oh, oh, well. First oh, one wow. is follow your passion. Yay! And that's the Black Panther, right? So whatever is your passion. Where is it? Is it going to come up? It was. It no. was up down there. You've done it the first right. time. The Black Panther. Right. Delay. Yeah, Black Panther. Do you want to it's read? Oh, you've got to read it. Right. I'll find yes. it. Alright, oh, so you can find it. Yeah. But that, I think, is just 
exactly you find out what, what your passion is what you enjoy in life mm -hmm. um, do you, oh, right okay well the winding road of your life with all its twists and turns expected and unexpected has brought you to this point mm -hmm. you are faring quite well yet there's an urgent need that you're feeling in your bones and your soul the need to express more and more fluently your true self <laughs> your inner core yes mm -hmm. it's so much safer and in some ways easier to to deny yourself the fruits of following your true passion questions of safety and survival are bound by stepping into this total, ex total expression of who you truly are um, let them remain as questions, cast them aside and embrace what turns you on, right? <laughs> the bones <laughs> what turns you on, okay? Yeah. Once you've discovered what your true passion is, and you probably already, already know what this is, by honouring it and living it so um, all else will be, take, will be taken care of. Mm -hmm. So does, does that surprise you, really? Does it challenge you? Trust your inner yearning is real and express it. If not all at once, then gradually, but express it. Don't worry about what it will look like, the, the, how it will look to others, or whether or not any you know anybody else is going to approve or not. Yeah. Um, when it comes to the end of your days, you'll be able to say with all sincerity and without reservation that you lived your life passionately and in truth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. That is. Yeah. That's. Yeah. That's absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, True, and, and it kind of sort of links with the philosophy as well it about, does, it? Um, you know, really digging deep into your own inner being and mm. to find out who who you are because all that knowledge is already within you. Yeah. And and that passion, that it's passion fair. or passions are within you as well, and it's up to you to you know to, to seek them out mm. and to take a step closer to it. Yes. Yes. Uh huh. Um, overcoming your fear, yeah, isn't it? And just making one small step, each, you know, yeah, yeah, making those steps, yeah, yeah. to change whatever it is, what's yeah. getting in your way. An interesting thing I've, I've come across recently as well is that, you know, if we've had all these lives, mm -hmm. we've got all, as, as I said before, we've got all this knowledge, mm -hmm. and we have all these, probably got all these passions as well. Yeah. And these skills that we've used in other lifetimes, um, which we can we can bring forth. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, an, an incident that another friend mentioned to me once was um, she suddenly decided she she come up with she just fancy doing some kind of um, I forget what like tapestry kind right, of work. Uh -huh, yeah, and she couldn't figure out how to sort of. Um, um, you know, get get the materials smooth, you know, so she could actually, you know, just yeah. go in that and what have you. And she kind of linked in with her inner guidance, um, because she said, well, look, however I've, if I've been able to do this in, in past lives, well, just yeah. please inspire me now as to how to do this. And lo and behold, if she didn't get an answer. Right, real. So, really good. Mm -hmm. So, uh, she the, there's in. that she you know, there is that there for all of us mm -hmm. you know we've just got to you know link in link into yourself and you'll get the answers that you need mm -hmm. so i just thought that was, yeah, that that was that quite was interesting yep. yeah and the, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, this one's right a possum strategy have a backup plan right so this is for everybody as well have a backup plan <laughs> Is it coming on screen yet? Right. Yes. Yep. There you go. There's the opossum. Mm-hmm. Right. So this one is um don't get attached to one and only plan. Right? Mm-hmm. Also have plan B, or at least a few other approaches to the subject of your inquiry, right? Too often you find yourself stuck in the agenda about what things should be. <laughs> I'm sure we yeah. always do that, yeah? yeah? Or how you should act in a particular situation. Yeah. 
and whether or not your plans actually that, that you're acting on is one that will work because the doubts creep in, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Straight away. And one, one definition of insanity, all of, all of these <laughs> definition of insanity <laughs> is trying the same thing over and over, expecting different results. <laughs> <laughs> like Most it. definitely. Yeah, right? definitely. Yeah. So this try this time try something new if your first approach doesn't work. <laughs> okay. And and that kind of links in with that as mm -hmm. well. So if you yeah. know um you know if, if you <laughs> <laughs> if you tr if you try the obvious ways that you think it's obvious, try the <laughs> unobvious ways like linking in yourself. Yes. Yeah. 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 So true. Um so um, <laughs> so instead of turning left, turn right, you know, um, listen closely to your inner promptings and find clues as to what to do all around you and inside you if you just pay attention. Um, it may not be obvious at first, right, but by opening your eyes, ears and senses, including the ones inside yeah, you, right, uh -huh. you find some delightfully ingenuity. In uh, in was it ingenuous? Ingenious. Inge yeah. Oh, ingenious. Yeah. Ingenious. Yeah. Costs oh, yeah. yeah. Ingenious ways of approaching this situation so the outcome will be in your favour and in alignment with the will of spirit. Mm. Yeah. So, uh -huh. look within. Yeah, definitely yeah, look within. Yeah. within. Yes. Look within. Yes. Listen to your, I find like your passion and look within. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And I think we'll have one more, and I'm going to go for Saints and Angels. Saints and Angels. Mm -hmm. It's been a while, I think, since I've had these mm -hmm. cards out. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to go. I hope I haven't deafened you there. <laughs> that was a bit noisy. <laughs> and again, it's for the group. I'll give you the book. Nice. Okay. Might do it Oh, I love doing this. I love this. Yes. <sighs> ta -ta -ta -ta. <laughs> Aha. What's it? Oh, 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 brilliant. Yeah. Faith, guardian angel. Mm. I don't know whether I'm there or not. Up a bit. And I think that includes faith in yourself, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm. That's important. I give up a little touch. Am I there? <laughs> I think I'm there. So yeah, faith, guardian angel. Right. Think of the miracles you've experienced in your life so far. This card asks you to have faith that heaven will continue to support and help you along the way. Your faith is a key factor right now and it's important that you keep it strong. Mm -hmm. Like the angel in the cards painting, you're about to take a leap of faith. Mm, yeah, that's what she's doing, taking uh -huh. a leap of faith. Uh -huh. Yes. This message is, is safe for you to make this leap. You're finally following your heart's wisdom and it will pay you unseen dividends. So that is so true that, you know, we you've got to get into the heart because that's where you, your intuition and your, your inner wisdom work basically. So uh, the situation you're contemplating is, is the right path provided you keep the faith. Your steady optimism will attract the opportunities and support you need. But any pessimism will push it away or slow your progress. Mm -hmm. yeah, so it's important. Yeah. yeah, definitely. So you could always ask before you go to sleep at night, Ask your guardian angel to clear away any fears that keep you from enjoying, you know, full faith, full faith in yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, and then in the morning, maybe you'll notice that you know, that, you know, you feel completely different because, uh, as I say, all things are possible. All things are, yeah. All things are possible. Yep. Oh yeah. And it's only us to put the mockers on things by saying, no, 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 we can't, we can't, we can't do that. No, no. We can possibly do that. No. But guess what you can? You can. Yes. And you will. <laughs> and you will. You get by with a little help from my friends. Uh -huh. <laughs> don't forget the inner friend that you've got inside there. Yeah. The one you can't see. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Your guardian angels. Yeah. Definitely guardian angels. <laughs>
So, have we got any more or I think that we've covered everything we well, wanted to tonight? Yeah, or I could finish off this, this little song here which I haven't sat for a while. May the long time sun shine upon you All love surround you And the pure light within you Guide your way on Guide your way on May a long time sun shine upon you All love surround you And the pure light within you Guide your way on Guide your way on So we use that light that's within you it's your, that's your inner wisdom, yeah. it's your intuition, let that guide you yeah. and trust and have faith. Yeah. So, can we say yeah. good night? Good night, God bless and and Thank you, Sue, so for your kind words. Thank, thank you. you, Sean. And <laughs> thank you for the lovely eight, other eight years who've been watching. Thank you very much for being with us tonight. Thank you. We really, you know. We hope we feel inspired you anyway. Yeah, well, we, we, hope, we hope we have, yeah. <laughs> In some form or other. Good night, God bless. Good night. Namaste. Good night. Good night. Namaste.